Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Battlefield 1. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 30 minutes. Enjoy! I think Battlefield 1 was always going to be a hard sell. It's not as simple as taking the successful formula of the Battlefield series and plonking it down in World War 1. The developers seem to have known this as well, as the game goes to great lengths to dramatize and reinforce the seriousness of the war and the callous loss of life it resulted in. The Call of Duty games have gained a bit of a reputation for the character you're playing not mattering too much because they can die for narrative impact, and from what I understand they started to pull this trick with greater frequency after Modern Warfare. The tutorial slash intro of Battlefield 1 takes this into overdrive. You are pinballed around a battlefield, thrust into situations where you survive as long as you can, but you really aren't meant to survive that long. The sequence ends with only two soldiers on opposite sides left as the surrounding landscape is littered with runes and corpses. The campaign is called War Stories, and I like the idea of playing through short little sequences at different points in the war from different points of view. The Cynic in me says it's also a great way to add more DLC single player content. I got a ways into the first level of the first story, and at least here it was quite obvious the discrepancy between the cutscenes and the actual game. The intro cutscene of the first story paints a wonderful picture of nervous young men about to control a tank to break through enemy lines, and the camaraderie that will ensue during that mission. Then you take control of the tank yourself, and it's a single player version of that hold and capture the points multiplayer mode. There's a graphical dip, although with my laptop having to run everything on low, that could just be my hardware, but it's a similar problem I had with the short shooting segments in the tutorial. None of it felt particularly engaging. It's more that I'd love to watch a TV series with these stories rather than slog through the gameplay required to reach their conclusion. And with how I feel about the gameplay segments here, I doubt any of the multiplayer modes would have changed my views on the matter. Thanks for watching.